Hello guys, it's Sugar A. Marie from A. Marie Full Lace Wigs. I told you guys when I finished with all my projects, I will bring them to your attention. This one is a 427. And actually what happened with this particular unit, I had a customer, she wanted a 427, but with me not knowing how to dye, when I do a 427, I charge a lot more because it's a blending technique. But we, what we wind up doing, we did the 427. She liked it, them Tyra Banks colors, if you guys can see up at the roots. So what I did, I did the unit in a four and then I took it to my girlfriend that does custom colors and she did the 27, you know, she highlighted it and I'm going to try to put some parting where she wanted it. Not like an ombre, but um, whatever it is they do, you know, she gave her, she showed me this picture of Tyra Banks that she liked it and um, she went on and, you know, messed around with the color a little bit. See how you go up in there? So it's not necessary like the umber. I guess she do the foil. I don't know really what she does to it. But um, yeah, so this unit is done. And she was like, never again would she do any of the coloring because normally when she deal with her customers, they be there in a chair or in person. And she was explaining to me that everybody 27 is different like uh. One person might get one result from a 27. Another person might get another result from a 27. So every color is different. So she told me never again. Don't bring no more colors back to her to be colored that she's not doing it. So uh, I appreciate the fact that she did this for a customer. And uh, this is on a glue cap. I'm going to turn it around and show it to you guys. And I guys, I know I'm looking horrible. Uh, I just wanted to get this video document it and then you know get these orders out this is on a full lace cap I'm gonna show it to you but yeah it's gonna go out so uh, she said never again don't come back asking for it but I really wanted it to be done for a customer because she was like I don't know anybody that can do it and I'm like well it's just a matter of lifting the color and you know so this is on your glueless cap sweetie you see that it's a glueless cap glueless cap glueless cap so what she did the the remaining of the the hair color that we have she just told me she'll give it to her so basically sweetie when you get this if you don't like this 27 or whatever you can um you can put more of the 27 on put the four on there let it sit and then rinse it out and then um i forgot well the steps is in there whatever what you need to do but this is the best that she can do and I'm going to get it in the mail and get it out to you. And that's your 14 inches on the glueless cap, guys. I wanted to show you guys that that wig that I was messing with, right, guys? And remember, I kept trying to get it to come to that to that green, green, green. And what I wind up doing, I wind up going to get some more color. You guys can see the part. I wind up going to get some more color. And I added more blue. And one of my girlfriends that, that, that does hair, she said, if you wanted more of the green to show, I should have did more of the blue. But, of course, I went and mixed it again. So, now if you guys can see, this is blue. So, this is my what the hell wig. <laughs> this is my what the hell unit, guys. So, uh, thank God it's a semi-permanent. So, the more I wash it, wash it, wash it, the color is going to come out. So, uh, not really a bad thing. Um, but just... Study trying to dye it, dye it, dye it. I got frustrated with the dye. And I just kind of gave up because I think I was out of like about $60 in dye and uh, lifting powder and all that. So if you guys can see the back, I guess it was more brownish. I don't know. And then remember I told you guys I ventilated the, uh, which I need to turn it. I ventilated the top part or whatever to give it that parting. But yeah, this is my what the, what the hell unit so thank god it's semi-permanent so i will uh eventually you know wrench 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 and then what i wind up doing is putting um getting my girlfriend to dye it like a black and i think i give up on that i wanted to show you guys you know if you guys can see i have bad acne acne scar acne scars so i want to show you guys some cheap drugstore um product that's really good for the scarring I'm not really going anywhere this is 3d face concealer and it is made by Ruby Kisses and this is a face primer that's made by BB's so 
with these acne scars, guys, and I'm not even going to go through the whole makeup. I'm not even really good with the whole makeup thing, but I just, I liked it the way that it concealed these scars on my face. And I know a lot of times y'all be like, oh, hey, Marie, get on camera and, you know, the makeup and all that. I'm not a glamour girl. I wasn't born just, just beautiful all the time. And sometimes I don't be in a mood for all that. And guys, I work from home, so... A lot of times you guys will see me in a throw dress or a wrap dress because I'm always home working and to put on clothes. And I don't know. I, I feel like I'm going through menopause. I'm always burning up. I'm always hot. So I'm always working on my wigs and stuff. So that's why normally you guys don't really see me in clothes. So uh, that's kind of my dress schedule. Only time I put on clothes is when I get students to come down here. But other than that, I just put on a throw dress. So um. What I did, I just put that primer on, but I'm just going to show you how that makeup, this little cheap makeup, concealed these scars. So if you're on a budget and want to find something that's really good, and then with me having this bad acne, it does not uh, itch my skin or, um, or have it feeling all crazy or whatever. And I know I'm looking crazy, guys, but sometimes you just want to be natural. I don't, I'm not, you know, a glamour girl all the time. So I just wanted to show you guys that when you put it on, I should have had a mirror. I don't got a mirror. I'm using a computer mirror, but I should have had a mirror where I can literally see too with the mirror. But what I like, you see these dark circles, but what I liked it about it is that you know, normally we spend a lot of this money on this real spendy makeup. And this is just from your local drugstore. And with the face primer and stuff, I like to have it conceal. It concealed these acne scars. So that's what I kind of loved about it in these um, dark circles. And it's just a 3D ruby kisses and I got the lighter color and if I would have got the right mirror and if I would have got some of the oil down off my face but that's what I tried to do with the primer but um if you guys can see it um concealed that acne uh pretty good and I'm not gonna go through all the steps of the makeup and put the dry powder on because I actually just had a shower and I'm getting ready for bed so um, but I just wanted to share some cheap drugstore makeup, guys, that will conceal some of those spots and dark circles and stuff like that. So, yeah, like if I'd have took the time to really, you know, make it up for you guys. But I like the fact how it conceal. And like I said, I'm not even using a mirror. I'm just going from the computer light. But I love the way that it concealed those spots. And if you guys can see, my face was terrible. But if I would go through all the steps of the makeup and stuff like that, it will look really nice. And it will hide some of those ugly acne scars. So, that's what's up, guys. That's what's up. So I just wanted to share some little cheap stuff with you guys from the drugstore that can kind of hide and conceal some of those spots. And I just, if you guys could see, and if I did it a lot better and then with my blush and all that, but it kind of camouflaged some of that. So I just wanted to bring those things to you guys' attention. And also, guys, this hair, this is like my just my 100% human hair. And what I like about this hair is that, what I like about what I like about this type of hair is that I like my hair very, very full. But um, this hair does have a fiber in it. And guys, when I wash my hair, I, I wash it and put a cap full of uh, fabric softener in it because the 100% human hair does have a filler in it. And I don't know, I like heavier hair because I like for my hair to have the weight or whatever. So um, it does have a filler in it. But I like how the fact that when you put the uh, the fabric softener in it, it has you know, nice body and also it smells very good. And sometimes I take a, a bottle waddle and just a snab of fabric softener and just spray it and take a hot blow dry through it and it soften those fibers right back up and those ends. It's not dry and your fingers can go 
right through it so it's a beautiful and that's another cheap alternative and some more tips for you guys as wearing either synthetic hair or hair with a filler in it thank you guys so much for watching god bless bye bye